Hi, I'm Bill Berry with the Training Department of the ATU, and I have a question for all of you ATU members, stewards, and officers out there. How many of you are tired of hearing, grievance denied, grievance denied? How many of you are tired of hearing your boss say, oh, I'm sorry, we can't handle this grievance right now, we're really backed up? Or how many of you are tired of having members come up to you and say, where's my grievance? What's going on with that? What's taking you guys so long? Why am I paying dues? What's the union for? Maybe I should drop out. Well, if those are the kind of questions you get, what you're going to see here is a way to help you solve the problem. The ATU Training Department has developed an online steward training program and it's to accommodate all of your work schedules and family responsibilities. We're going to look at the history of grievances. We're going to look at the history of a contract, what's in a union contract, how to investigate a grievance, how to present it, and most importantly, how to organize around the grievances with your members to gain leverage on your boss. And we're going to look at how to sign up non-members in those open shop states. Because if we don't reverse the decline of unionism in this country, we're dead. There are going to be documents, there are going to be presentations, there are going to be guest speakers. And we hope you enjoy it because this is a way to help you build a stronger union and represent your members more effectively. Welcome all you ATU members. This is a new training project from the International an online steward class on grievance and arbitration. This is an exciting opportunity to cover all of you across the United States and Canada and to deal with the problems we have in training. We're getting all of you in one place at one time due to work schedules and family commitments and distances is sometimes difficult. What we're going to do is talk about change in the union because the expression status quo no longer lists, exists in labor relations, as you well know if you're a steward. We have seen a dramatic change in the world's economy. It's no longer dealing with just individual grievances. We are dealing with problems of global economy. We are dealing with problems of the decline of public funding. We are dealing with the rise of the financial sector, the uh, vulture capitalists who now buy businesses with no interest in improving them, but simply trying to make as much money and dumping it as fast as possible. We're also seeing, and you see a picture here of uh, Scott Walker, anti-unionism has become the theme of the political class. And it's very scary. Scott Walker, for example, runs for president claiming that because he is able to beat the unions in Wisconsin, he could deal with ISIS. He claims labor unions don't deserve a national holiday. They've done more damage to our economy than any recession ever did. The statistics are that union density now is down to where we were in about 1900. The private sector is down about 7% of the workforce. The public sector is about 37%. But we are under attack every day. What we see in 26 states now are open shop laws, so-called right to work laws, which restrict what we can do. We saw the famous case involving Rebecca Friedrichs, which almost went to the Supreme Court decision, which would have stopped public employee unions like the ATU from collecting agency fees. So the idea that we can do what we've always done or that the members can do what old Joe did, and old Joe, you'll hear me talking about, was the local president for many years when we were successful. Those days are done. The world has changed. We have to figure that out, and we have to deal with it. We Rather, it wasn't that way, but it is. One of the things that I always stress when I'm in a class, however, is that this is a change which you are going to make. I often find people will come to one of my classes at the training center and expect me to be able to wave a magic wand and give you a magic solution. But we're not able to do that. 
this quote from Eugene Debs is wonderful because you are the ones who can do it. You can do as he said, you can make up your minds. There is nothing that you cannot do for yourselves. And so this online course is really designed to help you develop your skills and your abilities. There is one thing that I can't give you. I can't coach heart. And so the question is, do you have true grit? And we will often find in the training classes members who have reached the fork in the road. And the fork in the road is one of two directions. They're unhappy with the union. They think the company is beating up on us. And so one road goes to destruction. That is, they say, the union can't do anything. I'm not going to do anything. Forget it. Maybe I'll even drop out. The other road, though, is people say, well, I'm going to have to do this. The union is important to me. I'm going to take responsibility. I'm going to be my own savior. And those are the people who are taking this class. Because you have made a commitment to make your union stronger, to protect you, your families, your riders, and your communities. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take a short break. The way these courses are going to run, we're going to have sections of about 12 minutes apiece. And these are online. You can access any one of them at any time. You can start it, stop it, reverse it and download it. What you're going to see is not only the videos, uh, the audio and the PowerPoints that you're seeing now, but there are also documents attached that I want you to read. And these will be available for you just as if you were in a class and we'd be passing these out. So take a break, have a coffee, and we'll be right back. <laughs>